So today, I want to share a few of my favorite fall fruits and vegetables. Yes, fruits. But I also want to tell you about the one fall food you should avoid. So whenever I'm in a new city, I love to check out the local farmers markets. Seeing what's fresh and in season always inspires me to cook. I always love when I'm in Italy in the summer, when the sour cherries and plums are ripe. They really are nature's candy. But here in the United States, some of my favorite foods are just coming into season right about now, in the fall. So today, I want to share a few of my favorite fall fruits and vegetables. Yes, fruits. But I also want to tell you about the one fall food you should avoid. First, one of the fruits, pomegranates. There's a reason they call pomegranates a super fruit. They're loaded in polyphenols. This time of year, they're everywhere, in farmers markets and grocery stores, growing by the side of the freeway at Gundry MD headquarters. To make sure you get a good pomegranate, pick one without visible cracks and blemishes. You go for one that's heavy for its size. And when it comes time to eat those seeds, also called arils, out of the fruit, here's the simplest way to do it mess-free. So you cut it into quarters. Now you take your fingers in a bowl of water and you massage the seeds out with your fingers. The seeds will sink and the non-edible membranes will start floating. And if you look down into the bottom bowl, there's all the seeds. And that's how you do it. Then you just drain out the water and you're ready to go. Next up, perhaps the ultimate fall fruit, apples. Sure, they're available all year round, but you know what I say about fruit. Only eat it when it's in season. But with apples, knowing if they're in season can be tricky. Sure, they're only picked in the fall, at least in this country, but they're often picked unripe, kept cool for months, and gas to flash ripen them. That's not exactly the way nature intended. So how can you make sure you're getting ripe, in-season apples? So I suggest shopping farmer's markets, or at least looking for the local and organic labels at your local store. And make sure any apples you buy are extremely fragrant. It's actually a sure sign they have ripened naturally. Now remember, with both apples and pomegranates, they're fruits. And that means they're nature's candy. So treat them like a rich dessert and only eat them in moderation. But what about vegetables? Well, the great thing about leafy greens is that you can eat them all year round, but they have a season just like fruits. And one of my favorite fall vegetables is Brussels sprouts. Okay, they're not everybody's favorite. I used to hate them. They've really got a bad reputation for being bitter or soapy tasting. Some people even think they taste like farts. But honestly, that's just because they haven't had them cooked correctly. In my opinion, the keys to learning to love Brussels sprouts are simple. Buy them in season between September and November. They're good all year round, but they're less bitter and a bit sweeter in the fall. Cut them small, at least in half for sm smaller sprouts and quartered for bigger sprouts. I actually like to shave them into small pieces. That way, you let some of the steam and sogginess out during cooking. The second tip, use high heat if you're cooking them. Instead of steaming or boiling Brussels sprouts, roast or sear them over high heat. This brings out their natural sweetness and minimizes that bitter flavor. Now, before I move on to the one fall food you should avoid, there's one last vegetable that is at its peak right now, and that's kale. Now, like Brussels sprouts, some people say kale is bitter. Some people say it tastes like dirt. Now, how would they know unless they ate dirt? But here's the truth about kale. It can be bitter, and that's a good thing. I always tell my patients, more bitter, more better. But if you want to eat kale at its least bitter, head to your local farmer's market and stock up between October and December. Kale picked in the fall, but after the first frost, if possible, is the least bitter, 
perfect for people still getting used to the flavor. And if you think it tastes like dirt, give it two or three rinses in cold water before drying and cooking. One more thing, if you have trouble with the bitter flavor of any vegetable, don't avoid it. Instead, try adding fat like olive oil and sweetness to balance things out. My favorite combination, extra virgin olive oil and high quality balsamic vinegar. It's perfect for these vegetables. And now to the one fall food you should avoid, pumpkin. Yes, that means skipping the pumpkin pie at Christmas or Thanksgiving or the pumpkin soup. But here's the thing, pumpkin is one of those new world foods that your body doesn't know how to process. And the seeds are loaded with lectins too. Plus, most commercially available pumpkin products are loaded in sugar. So this fall, skip the pumpkin. You've got so many other delicious, healthy options instead. Why am I telling you all this? Because I'm Dr. Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you. May namimiss ka ba ng mga episodes sa ating halaman sa bukuran? May pakinabang na planta serye? Kung ganun, pindutin nyo lang po nga ang icon na nasa taas at nanon po lahat ng mga episode ng ating planta serye. At kung hindi ka pa nakapag-subscribe sa ating channel, marim pong pindutin ang pulang button dyan sa baba. Pindutin po ang, bo ang bell at isilik lang po ang all para ma-update ko po kayo sa lahat ng mga videos na ating mga i-upload para sa ating planta serye. Magandang araw mga kapatid at maraming salamat. Oh, 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 oh,